Hey everybody, this is the Beware reading for your sign for this month. I'll do three spreads. What you need to be aware of this month spread, the advice spread, and the next good thing that will happen to you this month that will at least put a smile on your face spread. Please like, share and subscribe. Let's begin. Hi Leo, this is uh, spread number one, the Beware spread. We have the Empress, we have the Seven of Wands, we have the Queen of Pentacles clarified by the Ten of Swords, and we also have the Six of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. So yeah, this Queen of Pentacles, um, which is clarified by the Ten of Swords, is um, somebody whom you should be on the lookout for, someone whom you should be aware of. Um, it could be... Most likely it is an Earth sign towards Virgo or Capricorn, but for some of you, if this spread is not about love, then this spread could be about work, business, and finances. And uh, <clears throat> you need to protect your boundaries. You need to stand your ground. You need to, you'll probably have to confront this Queen of Pentacles. There's definitely some sort of a confrontation that's going to be happening between you and uh, this Queen of Pentacles. And the good news is that you're going to win. But you still need to be prepared, you still need to do your homework, you still need to be on the lookout, you still need to um, pay attention to red flags, right? So the, the Empress, the first card that came out, that's you, Leo. That is definitely you, <laughs> right? Uh, nobody ever doubts that. Then we've got uh, that Queen of Pentacles, right? Um, probably an Earth sign, towards Virgo Capricorn. If you are already in a relationship, this Queen of Pentacles could make an attempt to sort of start flirting with your uh, boyfriend, your girlfriend, your significant other, or they will try to seduce them. And uh, for others, like I said, it could be somebody who, is, who wishes you something bad, somebody with bad intentions, right? And it could be about work, business, and finances. So with the seven of wands, the second card from the left, this is you needing to kick this person out of your life. You need to protect and defend what you believe is yours. Uh, you need to um, <clears throat> basically show this person who is boss, right? And uh, the six of wands on the bottom of the deck, this is a card of victory. I believe that's your energy. And uh, the queen of pentacles is clarified by the ten of swords. What's, I, I don't want to say funny, but... Um, as I was clarifying the Queen of Pentacles, my questions were, what is this person's intentions, what does they have in mind, and the Ten of Swords came out. So the universe basically uh, disregarded my questions, <laughs> I guess, and uh, they said this, the connection, whatever connects you to this Queen of Pentacles should come to an end, right? Because the Ten of Swords is a card of an abrupt ending. Right, so the the universe just wants you to know that you you have to get this person as far away from yourself as possible, get this person out of your life, and um, that that would be it, perhaps. Right. So that would be an advice for you. But let's take a look at the uh, advice spread, the second spread, anyway. Here's the advice spread for you, uh, Leo. This is from your perspective. This is what you need to do or at least take into consideration. We have the Eight of Swords, clarified by the Seven of Swords. We have the Page of Swords. We have the Tower and we also have the Five of Cups on the bottom of the deck. So, again, I don't know what this person's intentions are. I don't know what your relationship or connection to this person is. But this person will bring destruction into your life and you'll regret it later if you keep this person around or if you don't take action, if you don't push this person out of your life. They are one sneaky little queen of pentacles. <laughs> right, so the five of cups on the bottom of the deck. Um, I think this is uh, the end game if you keep this person in your close circle or if you don't fight them back, you'll regret it later. The five of cups um, often comes through as a card of regret, right? And uh, the tower right next to the deck, this is um, just something being destroyed, something falling uh, apart, something is just crashing down. So that would be um, the end result if uh, you let this person in, or if you don't kick them out, right? They will be bring destruction into your life. Um, and um, they're definitely up to no good. 
The Eight of Swords, the first card that came out is clarified by the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords is a card of a cheater, this is a card of a deception, this is a card of somebody who sneaks around, somebody who is up to no good, and I think that's the energy of the Queen of Pentacles. Seriously. Um, <clears throat> the Page of Swords in the middle, this is a card of um, somebody who is spying, or this is a card of somebody who gathers information. So perhaps if you need like a second opinion, I guess you can ask around when this person, when this Queen of Pentacles shows up. Um, or you can dig for information yourself. You can do research, you can search for whatever you need to search for. And uh, in this spread, the Page of Swords, um, you know, take a closer look. This person is like leaning backwards, they look suspicious, they've got their sword out and they're ready to strike, right? So that's what you need to do. And as we saw in the first spread, that Queen of Pentacles was clarified by the Ten of Swords, so a big X. <laughs> across that person. So, um, I believe you need to uh, not have this person in your life. Alright, we're moving on to spread number three. Spread number three is the next good thing that will happen to you in December. Leo here, spread number three. This is the next good thing that will happen to you. That will at least put a smile on your face. We have the Three of Pentacles, clarified by the Queen of Swords. We have the Queen of Wands. We have the Eight of Pentacles, and we also have the Ace of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. This spread is about either work, business, or finances, or some sort of a collaboration, or an alliance, or some sort of a partnership. Um, you'll be doing something or building something together with this Queen of Swords. Something good, something long term, something you, you will either make money off of, or you will benefit from it. Right? If it starts off like a side gig or a small project, it could eventually become your main source of income. Right? So the Ace of Wands on the bottom of the deck all the way here, all right? This is either an, your own inspiration, right? And then you will get this Queen of Swords in the vault here. It could be your friend, somebody you used to work with, somebody you work with right now. Um, or the Ace of Wands could be coming from this Queen of Swords. Basically, it is a new, passionate new beginning, right? A new passionate beginning <laughs> that has to do with work, business, and finances. The Three of Pentacles, the first card I came out, which is clarified by the Queen of Swords. That card is all about collaboration, building something together, um, starting something together. It could be some sort of an alliance or a partnership, or like I said, it could be a side gig that will eventually blossom into a full-blown business. Basically, so some sort of a collaboration with this king, Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Then we have you, the Queen of Wands, and we also have the Eight of uh, Pentacles right next to the deck. The Eight of Pentacles is a card of work, business, and finances, right? Or working on something, building something um, that will later uh, <clears throat> bring benefits into your life. So this is the next good thing that will happen to you. Yeah? A collaboration or some sort of a partnership or alliance or a new beginning. Uh, with this Queen of Swords, and it's going to be uh, good for you, <laughs> Leo. Alright, so that's what I got for you for this uh, reading. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe, and other than that, have an amazing December. And there you have it. I hope my readings resonated with you, and if they did, I hope they make your lives better in one way or the other. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Thank you for watching.